Hey, how's it going? So today we are also unboxing the Go Labs 100 watt solar panel charger. The model is SF100, monocrystalline, 100 watts of max power. So usually you probably take about maybe 80% uh, of that is what you'll actually get from the sun. So I'm hoping, hoping 80, but I'm expecting around 60. Um, US, it also contains uh, USB ports. Output of 5 volts, 2.4 amps. And then we have another one that's a little stronger uh, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps. And then it can go up to 12 volts, 1.5 amps at 18 watts. And then we have the USB C. And then, of course, you have the DC output at 18 volts, 5.56 amps. Again, this is from Gold Labs. So let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, took off the tape. This box is a little heavier than I thought, but that's fine. Solar panels aren't usually the lightest. I could have sworn this would be around 18 pounds, I think. open the box here you can see you have the cables here it has the alligator clips this here is the different types of uh, plugs that you can use and of course the user manual we'll put that to the side real quick comes with some stakes and another I guess a power extension cord oh, that's cool I'll probably put that to use because you know you, so I could kind of extend the solar away from the power bank may put the power bank under some shade when it's charging okay nicely protected all right look at this actually it's not as big as it looked the boxes had a lot of padding on it. <laughs> All right, so here's the little uh, solar panel here. It's actually a pretty good size to carry. It's not as big as I thought, but you have little rivets here, so you can put a little D-ring on it, and you can, you know, make clipped onto some whenever you're storing them. I'll probably leave these gel packets in here to keep them dry. So here's the MC4 connectors. As you can see, here's the USB ports. And here's the Type C and here's the DC. So let's go ahead and well I like it that the fact that there's a zipper here so you can actually keep it zipped up kind of gives it a little bit of water protection for you. Um, I wish there was a little pocket or hole that you can leave on the side so maybe if you're charging you could kind of zip it up and close it. Which is kind of possible. I wouldn't suggest you do do it for everyday practice, you know, to be safe. But there's two zippers on each, there's a zipper on each side, right? So you just kind of uh, close it zip this side and then you're protected right um, actually being that if it's raining then you want to do it the opposite direction so I would leave the cords down this side sorry I'm just going ahead and show you I'm just going to leave the cable down here, right? I'm going to leave the cable down here. And then from there, you can close the zipper. And I'll give you some uh, water protection here. Just throw the gel back in there. Alright, so it'll be like this. But the cord coming out of the bottom gives you a little bit of water uh, protection. As you can see, here's a nice uh, zippers here, and it's 
almost has a wa nice water seal protection. This material is very nice. Um, I can pull up some of the specs here if you want to talk about it. So this item is pretty new. I haven't seen a lot of uh, YouTube re reviews on these. So, so again, this is the Go Labs 100 watt portable solar panel uh, that's foldable. It has a kickstand, of course. I already talked to you about the ports. It has a Type C, the USB uh, 3.0, so you could actually charge uh, your phones, your laptops, everything all at once. And it does say it has a high conversion rate uh, efficiency up to 23. So usually when they say up to 23, it's most likely you won't hit 23 at all. Um, it comes with all the cables, like I said, uh, MC4 cable, which is the more important one. It has the DC5525 to DC5525 cable, which is pretty cool. And it also has a DC5525 to the Anderson, which was a the first one I showed you. And it also comes with 10 uh, connector heads which is important depending on what you're trying to hook it up to, right? Alright, so let's uh, let's go ahead and try to hook this up. So the, so the cool thing about this, um, the, one of the re main reasons why I did grab this one versus uh, other ones for one, it matched the power station that I do have, which is the GoLabs R300. But this actually has an IP, IPX4, which is a waterproof uh, protection. So, of course, don't let the water get into the pouch. So, as I was trying to explain earlier, you should always leave this zipped up. And if you are trying to charge something at the same time, uh, you know, and you're using the solar to charge like your power bank, then bring the cord out to the bottom and then zip it up right so that kind of gives it a little more uh, protection from the water because you can't get water into this if you, water gets into this this whole unit would probably be worthless <laughs> so first of all just try not to charge during uh, the rain if it's going to rain just go grab it and bring it in um, most likely if it's raining you're not going to get a good charge anyways um, so this is 11.6 uh, pounds, so let me correct that. So it's pretty lightweight. I don't know why the box is so much heavier. <laughs> Again, the junction box is not waterproof, so keep that secure. So let's go ahead and put this up. So here, as you can see, charging cables at the bottom, the zipper here. Um, doesn't seem like there's any type of magnets keeping this thing closed. It's just pretty much your, your hand itself. Here goes the rivets to that has the kickstand. So they came with the stakes, so you can always stake this into the ground at each of the kickstand. As you can see, the kickstand has a nice uh, width to it, so it keeps a nice stable base. Has a little elastic uh, to kind of keep it at the certain angle, the 45 degree angle that that you probably need at <laughs> most of the time. Okay, again, this is a four panel solar charger here. I'm gonna go ahead and wow, this will be a big peel. Let's see if y'all can hear it. a nice sex appeal. I kind of wish I could save that just so whenever I'm storing it I could kind of give it an extra layer of protection but you know since it's waterproof there's nothing that could really damage it. I was watching one of these other uh, YouTube videos and they were talking about you know these solar panels are nice but they're also nice for dogs they always want to go and piss on them so they always keep it secure and protected from uh, pets right. <laughs> But this is waterproof, so that shouldn't be an issue, I hope. I don't want a dog peeing on my solar panels anyways. So again, here, let's just close up real quick to so close it up like that. And yeah, the device is pretty light. Being 11 pounds, one-handed. Here's some more details right here. 
a 100 watt solar panel charger. So I'll go ahead and set these up here. Fold it in half, unfold it in half. Unfold each side again. So being that each leg is kind of individualized, it does make it just a little bit, you know, kind of weird trying to adjust it. But the legs will kind of move whenever you do try to adjust anything. Okay, so here's this cord here. And here, as you can see, is my R300 Go Labs power bank, power station, solar power bank. And I will get their core here that they provided. This came with the power bank itself. And here you can see the MC4 plugs, red on one side, and then you know male and female. So we'll go ahead and plug into the input. And plug this over here. Email. Okay, and let's see what we can see here. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it here. Um, currently, we are charging at the rate of 55, 56 watts. How cool is that? I, I was hoping it would t kind of give you an idea of how long it'll take to fill this up, uh, fill the capacity to 100%. I wish it would say that, but it doesn't. So let's say we have what, 25, 24%. So that's about 24. Let's say a quarter of 300. So it's 60, about 60 watts we need to fill. So this would be a little bit over an hour to fill, I guess. At charging at, well, we're pretty stable right now at 55. Well, now we're dropping to 53. Um, right now it is one o'clock uh, central time. I'm not, I just kind of threw my solar out there. I didn't really try to angle it. Seems like a good uh, position against the sun. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not really going to adjust it as much. I just kind of just you know, see how it is and just pop it out, throw it down, and see how it goes. Right? So, right now we're stable around 53 to 55 watts. All right. I think that's about it. Everything's working great. As you see, it's a nice uh, color combo match here with the black and the orange accent for the Gold Labs. I know a lot of people prefer the all black version. I went ahead and got the, <laughs> the orange accent because I knew the solar panel would come with the orange accent. So I wanted something just, you know, just consistency of the match. But, you know, I, I don't mind that. You know, it, it looks good. Right now we're still charging at 54 watts off this uh, 100 watt solar panel here. Again, it's uh, around a little bit past one. Okay. Now we're dropping down 52. Now pop back up the. Well, a little bug flew by. I wonder if a little bug uh, made me lose extra two watts. <laughs> now back to 53. All right. Any questions, comments? Leave it below. Again, this is the Go Labs uh, solar panel combo with the Go Labs R300. Again, the solar panel is the um, the 100 watt solar panel. The model is SF100, and this here is the Go Labs R300.
All right. I'll see you on the next one.